Welcome to Sports Extra alongside Patrick Cunningham. I'm Kurt Pegler. We typically start our show with the big highlights of the night, but it's been a tough week for sports in central Illinois, and it got tougher tonight with the passing of Dunlap High School soccer player Tessa Sutton. Tessa was diagnosed with cancer two years ago at the end of her freshman year at Dunlap. Immediately, the area soccer community stepped in to support her. Teammates donated hair, coaches and coaches' wives shaved their heads in support of her as she began treatments. Tessa became the face of Central Illinois' fight against childhood cancer. Other schools and sports teams rallied around her with fundraisers and other ways of showing support. Team Tessa got stronger as she dug in to fight cancer. Tessa fought cancer for nearly two years. She died today, just four days after turning 17. She never quit. She's a champion, and no doubt Team Tessa will live on in Central Illinois. Tessa's passing comes just days after the tragic deaths of two multi-sport star athletes at Prairie Central High School in Fairbury. Dylan Bazell and Drew Fair died after a sledding accident in Colorado on Sunday night. Drew was an All-State football player who led Prairie Central to the state quarterfinals this year. Dylan, an All-State basketball player who led the Hawks to a number one statewide ranking and to the sectional title game. Both relatively quiet guys who let their actions speak louder than their words. Memorial services for those young men are scheduled for early next week in February. Our thoughts, our prayers, our love goes out to the Dunlap and Prairie Central communities. It has been a tough week for sports in central Illinois. Dunlap baseball won 2-1 to one at Morris, and Eagles coach Eric Stone said it was one of the hardest postgame talks he ever had with his team, telling his players that Tessa Sutton, one of their classmates, had passed away today.